Hey guys, haven't made a video in a while, so I figured I'd make one to keep you guys happy. Um, what I'm doing today is uh, putting a VG30 gearbox together. Uh, what I did is I'm putting it in my S13 because they're a lot stronger box. And um, the RB25 gearbox, like out of a Skyline R33 uh, or R34 GTST, they're exact same internals as a VG30 box, which comes out of a 300ZX. Um, but 300ZX boxes are a lot cheaper. So I picked this one up for $650 compared to a 33 box is 1000 The only difference is the bell housing is different. This is the VG30 bell housing. Uh, because on the car they have twin turbo setup, the turbos are actually in the way, so the starter motor is actually mounted onto the gearbox. And because of this, it's everything is changed. And also the, um, the how where it bolts up to the engine is different bolt pattern and it doesn't work for us so I had to get an RB25 bell housing and luckily the uh, the rear is the exact same so all the internals are basically the same the only difference is the RB25 has a normal shifter on top uh, whereas the VG30 has an external shifter so you can see the external shifter there uh, now that's really good for us because uh, what it means is because of the RB25 gearbox, it's a different length to the SR20 gearbox, so you have to make a dog leg shifter, so your shift have to goes like this, and it makes it a little bit shit, uh, a bit dodgy, I guess, and you also have to mount the gearbox a little bit lower uh, to accommodate for that dog leg, so when you make the VG gearbox, because it's external shifter and it's a really short box, all you have to do is adjust the shifter arm length, uh, make up a new one of new one of these things uh, to accommodate where you want the sis uh, shifter to sit and you can adjust where you exactly want the shifter so uh, whereas the RB25 one you have to make it like 50 mil long uh, this one you can run it wherever you want so it's, it's a much better way of doing it um, not many people like the external shifter feel it's quite direct uh, but I, I don't know we'll see what happens hopefully I like it if not well uh, I'm sort of stuck with it I guess um, to run it onto the SR20, you need an adapter plate, so this is what it is here. So this bolts up to the engine uh, with these countersunk bolts here. Bolts up to the engine, and then you've got these threaded holes there for your starter motor there. And all the rest bolt up to the gearbox. So you bolt that to the motor, and then you bolt the gearbox into that to plate. So, yeah, so an adapter plate. You can buy them on the internet. So if you just search VG30 to S13 bell housing adapter plate or RB to S13 you'll find one of those. This gearbox is um, pretty decent internals it doesn't have any uh, synchros are all in good nick and uh, yeah I can't really fault it so that's good. Uh, unfortunately on Nissan's the bell housing is sort of half the gearbox as well it's a bit of a pain uh, whereas on Supras and things like that the bell housing actually just bolts off the gearbox and you don't have to open it up so on, on Nissan's it's, it yeah they incorporate sort of half the gearbox in the bell housing which is a bit of a pain in the ass so you need to crack it open to change bell housing which means you got to reseal everything so I've made up this little table which just to cut a hole in it so I can sit the box in there works uh, working on the floor is a bit of a pain clean up all the surfaces got all the gasket material off and then sanded it with the memory and then cleaned it with some uh, wax and grease remover make it all nice and pretty the bearing uh, I'm reusing it because it's still in good nick uh, and it's about 65 bucks for a new one so don't really see a point it's not that hard to crack it open again anyway if it's failed but I don't see why it would be the shifter uh, bearing is a it's quite a weird one it's it's um like a cage filled with tiny little ball bearings and these bearings you have to get from Nissan they don't make them uh, any other place and you have to order it from Japan so uh, what I did is because the one that was in the bell housing that I got was stuffed I knocked that out and I actually got my mate to machine me up just a brass bushing uh, because that bearing all it is is for the shifter you don't actually need a bearing as such you don't need a roller bearing you, you can get away with just a bushing Obviously, Nissan put a ball bearing in there so it lasts many, many years, but considering this gearbox probably won't last much more than a year or two, um, a bushing is fine. It, it all it has to do is just support the shifter arm. It doesn't, this doesn't rotate or anything, so uh, a bushing is fine. So, got the bell housing here, clean it up and painted it, just made it look a bit nicer. 
prepped all the surfaces and uh, you can see the brass bushings in there prepped all the uh, all in there and everything this housing seals all good so we're all ready to assemble so yeah got my Nissan gasket goo and we're going to put it together so I'll show you the end result in a sec Matt.